a lot of people, they think, oh, it's going to make you smarter. They think it's going to make you more creative. They think it's going to, you know, unlock some sort of like mental capacity that would otherwise be un, un, you know, something that could not be unlocked. What's up, guys? Derek, moreplacemoredays.com. Today, we are going to be talking about my experience with modafinil. So, this is something I've had a prescription for for years. I've had it probably since 2013 or something like that. It's prescribed for typically, typically for narcolepsy, uh, shift work sleep disorder, and sleep apnea. So as you may or may not know, I have severe obstructive sleep apnea, and that is what you know justifies the prescription of this. And a lot of people, they see modafinil as some sort of like limitless pill. They see it as something that unlocks your brain's potential, almost like the alternative like stepbrother to Adderall sort of thing. And I just wanted to lay out my experience with it over the past you know, five plus years, a lot of people, they think, oh, it's going to make you smarter. They think it's going to make you more creative. They think it's going to, you know, unlock some sort of like mental capacity that would otherwise be un, un, you know, something that could not be unlocked. And it's not really the case. So I just want to shed light on what you can actually expect from this. This is a wakefulness drug. So what you can expect from this is being awake. That's, that's literally the extent of it. As far as like creativity, feeling high, stuff like that, things that are mediated by amphetamine, it's nothing to do with the mechanism of action of this stuff. This stuff is a wakefulness agent meant to keep you awake. And that is what it does and it accomplishes it very well. And that's why it's prescribed for narcolepsy. But as far as like comparing it to something like Adderall, which is literally amphetamines, the feeling of it is like night and day difference. One is like really stimulating, really like almost like euphoric and really tunnel vision euphoria versus modafinil you're just more awake and it keeps you awake longer. It's almost like caffeine on steroids without the jitters. And that's the best way I can describe it. It keeps you awake. It doesn't give you severe jitters unless you like go 300 milligrams or higher or you have a very you know low tolerance and you use too much obviously. But in general, it just feels like a smooth high dose of caffeine in terms of you staying awake. And that's really the extent of it. You know, a lot of people, they think this is like the end all be all. And at the end of the day, it really isn't. And I very rarely use it. And it would only be during, you know, if I had a really, really crappy sleep as a result of an air leak in my mask for my CPAP machine or something like that, then I might incorporate it as it is a treatment for, you know, sleep apnea in the first place. But as far as like getting that tunnel vision locked in mental focus with creativity and getting kind of that limitless outcome that you'd be looking for by buying this stuff, because a lot of people are going and buying it generic from India and stuff like that. I'm telling you right now, the pharma grade stuff, it's pretty underwhelming if you're actually expecting some sort of like NZT 48 limitless thing, like you're not going to get that. You would get that perhaps like the closest thing to that is like Adderall pretty much. As far as modafinil though, if you have tried it, um, you know, I'm sure you can attest to the fact that it's not, it doesn't really stack up to what some people who haven't tried it seem to think it does. Like it's not like, the movie Limitless, it's not like you pop it and then you're like Bradley Cooper where you can, you know, solve life's mysteries and become a top CEO because that you couldn't have been without this stuff. This stuff keeps you more awake. It accomplishes what it's meant to do very well, but the limitations of its mechanism of action are such that it doesn't go outside the scope of that. It keeps you more awake. As a result of being more awake, your information absorption and your ability to produce high quality work is higher because you're more awake for a, l a longer period of time. So that's the extent by which it works in my opinion. I don't think it's that much. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot more to it to be honest. So as far as my opinion, I use it very frequently for you know five plus years. And if you have realistic expectations, it's cr all it's cracked up to be. If you have unrealistic expectations, like some of these you know, sites purport it to be online on blogs and stuff like that. You're probably going to be underwhelmed when it actually comes to, you know, coming, getting your hands on this stuff and trying it. So just, uh, you know, my two cents on the uh, topic. Hope you guys found that informative and, you know, potentially 
uh, clarified some things for you. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment if you don't mind. It helps the algorithm out. Check me out on Instagram at more plates underscore more dates, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Talk to you guys soon.